question how to succeed in business without really trying. Robert Morris and Matthew Broderick. <laughs> Having logged more than 2,000 combined nights as a window washer, both of us, we're more than qualified to tell you about the first of tonight's nominees for Best Revival of a Musical. It's the 50th anniversary of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and the man who won the Tony for Best Conductor and Musical Director of the original production, Mr. Elliot Lawrence, is conducting the Tony Awards Orchestra tonight. We don't know where he is, but he is in the building, we're told. <laughs> and he's done this since the first Tony telecast. So please, all, oh, please welcome Daniel Radcliffe, Tony nominee, John Larroquette, and the company of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. I know what's on your mind. You'd like to clear out the whole crowd from top to bottom. But before you consider firing Mr. Bigley... Whoa, whoa, who's considering that? I would like to say a few words. About what? Humanity. Now you may join the Elks, my friend, and I may join the Shriners, and other men may carry cards as members of the diners. Still others wear a golden key or small Greek letter pin. But I have learned there's one great club that all of us are in. There is a brotherhood of man, a benevolent brotherhood of man, a noble tie that binds all human hearts and minds into one brotherhood of man. Your lifelong membership is free. Keep a giving each brother all you can. Oh, aren't you proud to be in that fraternity? The great big brotherhood of man. Is the really a brotherhood? Yes, for a 